Good morning people, today we are going to be reviewing these and these are the RAC Snow Foam Cannon and the RAC Snow Foam which is 5 litres and incredibly pink and as you can see from the stickers I got the pair of these from B&M so the Cannon was £10 and the Snow Foam was £12 and you can see them online as well so there is the Foam Cannon for £10 and the Snow Foam for £12 so, like the rest of you, I didn't even know RAC did any car cleaning products. So, let's open them up and see what they're like. And it does say on it in big writing, no pressure washer required. So, that means you don't need your car trap or whatever brand of pressure washer you use. So, that is all that's in the box and two seals as well. I'm going to speed it up and let me put it together. I mean, I was going to speed it up, but then after going through the instructions, all you actually have to do is connect that to there. You can do it like that. Tighten that up. There is already a seal in there, but you get oh, but you get two spare ones, but there's already one in there. And then with this, no messing around, just push it in and done. And that is the foam cannon ready to use. And I do like the fact it has big old ride on the side so you can't mess it up so you're going to fill it with soap to there and then fill it with soap and water to there so nice and easy so let's do that what i'm going to do where this says soap i'm going to measure out actually how much soap that is using that because the, oh, the recommendation for this it says use 100 milliliters of this to one liters of water so we'll see if that how much milliliters that is Apparently this smells of bubble gum, and I've got to break it to you. It doesn't smell of bubble gum. It smells horrible. Might smell a bit better when we're using it, but so that is to the line, and that line, oh bloody hell, that line equates to about two hundred and fifty milliliters of water. So that's the measurement there. So around about two hundred and fifty mil, not water, but that soap line is two hundred and fifty milliliters of whatever fluid you want to put in it. So I'm going to fill the rest of it up with water and we'll go out to the car and we'll see if this is any good. I am also going to test the snow foam properly through a proper lance. So for this I'm using the NJJC Foam Cannon SV3 and I'm going to do the instructions it says on the snow foam, which as I said earlier is 100ml of this to 900ml of water. And this is a bit easier because on the MJJC there is actually a marker on there already which makes it easier to pour out. And as I said, there is no way this smells like bubble gum because it smells horrible. So I'm just gonna fill the I don't think this is a this will reach a litre anyway. But you see what I'm doing. So the water is on and the pipe is connected, and good news is it doesn't leak out. Uh and I also am not sure if one means there's going to be more soap in it or less. So we'll find out. This obviously doesn't adjust because it doesn't twist or anything like that. It's just a straight push fit. And I'm waffling on. So let's just pull the trigger on setting one and we'll see how it is. I will add the car is dry so it should stick to it a bit better but I don't think that's bad for a first attempt really is it I'll bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see oh yeah I don't think that's a bad attempt so let me whack that up to setting five and hopefully that means you get more soap rather than more water we shall see Yes, yeah, so definitely, so five means more soap, one means less soap. And then what doesn't make sense is that if you turn it the same way, it goes back to one, but whatever. So I actually think that's quite good. Obviously you're gonna get a better result from an actual, you know, pressure washer and a proper foam cannon. But if you haven't got that and you know, you just have a hose, I think that's actually quite a good effort. Considering that is 300 mil though, it should be a bit sadsy. But... Quite good. Actually, if I turn that to zero, 
does it stop the soap and just get water? It does actually, so yeah, if you just set that to zero, it will then only give you the water and no soap. Well, clearly, because you've got no nothing being added, so that's a bit obvious. The only downside, just from turning that a few times, where those cogs are sharp, it does hurt your fingers. Just a word of warning. So yeah, I'm gonna add some more soap to this and see how sudsy we can make it. What I'm gonna do this time is dilute it a lot more. So I've got about 250 milliliters of water going in without spilling it. That was actually quite impressive. And then I'm literally gonna fill this right to the top with the snow foam. Because on the last one, I did, what was it? 250 mil of this to about 350 mil of water. But for this one, I'm gonna do a lot more. And I should have probably put a tray down first. That was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? So I've got a ridiculously high concentration in here now, and I've got the setting all the way to five. So let's see how that is. Excuse the wind, but um, I'm genuinely impressed with this. I actually think this is this could be better than the um, soap and suds one. I might have to do a video comparing those two, but this is actually quite impressive. The only downside is you do get through quite a lot of it quite quickly. As you saw, I only did one side of it, and I've used half the bottle. But yeah, impressive. So we're going to just test out the snow foam on its own now using the Kartra and the MJJC. From how good it was on the foam cannon, you know, the not pressurised one, I'm actually quite hopeful for this. actually quite a nice mist up considering that's only 100 milliliters to 900 mil of water that's actually quite impressive so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm probably on 800 mil I'm gonna add another 200 mil of the snow foam to it and we'll see how sudsy it is then so now I've got about 300 mil of the snow foam and then about I'd say maybe about 600 mil of water so I've got 900 mil in the bottle all together so here we go <laughs> I tell you what, I'm I'm genuinely impressed by the RAC stuff. I mean, that is a nice, that is a nice, that's a that's a that's a good foam up. I need to work out the prices on it because obviously that bottle you do get five liters, and I think what was it twelve pound? So it's quite expensive. But we'll have to work out how much, how many of these you could get out with, out of it. But yeah, look at that. start the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes to come off. So it has been just over three and a half minutes now and it's stayed on there quite well actually. I'm not going to clean the car so we'll see how good it cleans but as I've said before they all clean the same to be fair you know I wouldn't do it but if you probably just use water to clean it, it would probably work as well but yeah I'm I think it's doing very very well at the moment but what we're gonna do now is the most important test and apparently this smells of bubblegum they're lying it doesn't it doesn't smell of bubblegum 
but does it taste of bubble gum? We shall see. So I've got, a, I have a little bit in there, and oh, hmm, oh. hmm. <laughs> it doesn't taste of bubble gum either. I don't actually know what that t that has. I've never tasted anything like that before. It actually tastes better than it smells. So, I'm gonna stop being silly. I've now got. 400 ml of the product in the lance and 300 ml of water. So let's see how thick we can really get it. It's crazy how much it foams up in your mouth. Hopefully this is going to be a hella thick foam up. But I do apologise if it does seem this, it looks a bit weird, but it keeps raining, so I have to keep stopping. So I'm going to try and do it before it stops. So right, let's see. Oh, oh, yes. That is, that's, Yes, yes. That is, that is hella foamy. Look at that, that is, admittedly, that's quite thick so it's running down. Look at that bit, it's not even running down. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, the lance helps that. But look how thick that is. That is seriously good. I'm, I'm well impressed by this stuff. Well impressed. Let me show you a bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. POV. Just to say, I've just jet washed the body off so it is still wet. So it might not stick as well, but here we go. Hello, foamy. Look at that. So, my final thoughts on the RAC Snow Foam Cannon and the RAC Snow Foam. And I'll be honest, straight up, that when I bought them with BM, I went, oh, these are going to be rubbish, but I'll give them a go anyway. And you know what? I, I, 100% accept that I was wrong. And I think that this is brilliant because for ten pound, you don't need a pressure washer and you don't need a lance. And obviously, they can come to 100. Will be well over 100 pound. You know, even if you bought the cheapest one. So for this, I would 100% recommend because I like it. And if you do want to use 250 mil of soap in this one, so fill it to this line. And this is the same with this. If you fill with 250 mil because you've got a good foam up with that at 250 mil, you'll get 20 washes from this five liter bottle. So using 250 mil, you will get 20 washes and that would cost you about 60 pence. And for the snow foam itself, it may say bubble gum. It doesn't smell like bubble gum. It certainly doesn't taste like bubble gum. And it still tastes horrible in my mouth, and this is about two hours later now. So I would recommend it though. I think it's very good, and you get 20 washes it. So yeah, pleasantly surprised with this. So yeah, I would recommend the both of them, especially because then if you've got the pair of them, that's £32, and you get 20 washes out of it. And that is my conclusion to it. So hope you enjoyed the video, and um, thanks for watching.